Okay, it looks like we're live then. So, so all right, it's okay with you, Will. I'll start. I right, we're going to have a couple uh, minutes until 6.30. Yeah, we still have another minute. Do we oh, not have... Oh, sorry, 6.28. Yes, you're right. Do we not have Frank tonight? I, you know, I, I, I assumed he'd be here. I didn't know if unless Will heard something. I, I, I didn't know about Frank or Bill, but I figured sometimes they... I expected they, Frank. I believe Frank's going to be here. Bill, I'm not yeah. sure about what. And do we have our new member yet? What's that? We have our newest member yet? No, there's um, oh, there's Frank. I, you know, I don't know what the, what the status is. You know, you mean Greg? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, you know, I guess he had to get voted in. So I don't know if he's joining us tonight. Unless, what are you again, talking about, uh, Craig? Greg? 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 Yeah, is he joining us tonight? He's he's going to join tonight. What happened was um, he got approved by the Republican Town Committee, but they never. I followed up on it because I was a little disappointed. It never got transmitted to the town to council. To the agenda for town council. Agenda oh, for town council, so which happens all the time. It's not official so, yet, but uh, it's... It should, he should be on the next okay. uh, meeting, but he is definitely going to be sitting in on the call tonight. That's fine. Okay. That's good. He just can't contribute. He can't be no, voter no, no. or anything. Well, he's, gotcha. he's been sitting in on the calls for uh, quite a while. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. So, so it shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, no problem. Can, can I ask Will a question? Sure. I don't know if he can hear me. Is he, is he there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, oh, that's what you look like without a mask. Hi. <laughs> hey, uh, quick question. Was this meeting noticed? Because I, I always look for it in the paper. Yeah, we're going to start with ready to say thank you. We're ready to go. Um, in the paper? Well, I'm, I'm, it's not required to be in the paper. It isn't since they usually are. They've always been. No, they're not required to be. They may be just as a PR thing, but they're not required to be in paper unless it's a public hearing. Oh, I didn't know that. And then so there's a legal notice nothing to the was public put in, hearing. Nothing was because I bought. They've always been in before. Well, again, they they usually have a schedule of meetings. Those are just public announcements. Those aren't. They're not legally. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, well, I learned something. Thanks. But I'll check with Lynn. Maybe something happened that, it, that, that they didn't get informed. Before. All right, it's 631. Ready to, can I start, Will, or? Sure, let me start the recording. Okay. This meeting is being recorded. Here comes Bill. Good timing. All right then. All right. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'd like to um, open this meeting of the regular meeting of the North Brantford Conservation and Inland Wetlands and Water Courses Agency. Uh, this meeting on Wednesday, May 26th, 2021, at approximately 6:31 p.m. And first thing I'd like to do is a roll call of everyone seated at this time. Uh, first, we have regular members uh, Ashley Joyner, Frank Bergano. Jerry Fishbank and Bill Gadenzi. Uh, we have a town planner and wetlands administrator, Will Agresta. And I'm Steve Scavel. I will be the acting chairman for this meeting. Uh, next, we can move on to item two. There's three sets of minutes. So the first set uh, would be March from March 24th, 2021. And I believe I will abstain. I was not at that meeting. Or was I? Yes, no, it was the one before that. Okay. This was the minutes that we tabled, and we uh, and Frank had asked for um, some elaboration on one of the issues, and we forwarded that just the revision in the mailing packet this week. So that's why this is on. Yeah. So but the what what Will sent out is I edited it, so my edits are in color. Not mine. Under oh, six, paid uh, old business number six, March 24th. Yeah, it's this one's in color. It's in color. It's just a single page, guys. Yeah, it's just a single it's page. It's in blue. In I got it. Yeah, I got it. It's just the, the, the your edits were right in blue there. Yes. Uh, what what part of that is? I just copied mine off uh, email just now because I never I got the page, but uh, there's no 
I'll, I'll, I'll read it. What I, cha it. what I changed it to, the agency had an extensive exchange expressing their frustration over the lack of progress by the applicant on cleaning up the site, missing dates, and the need for the town to take legal a action. The agency asked the town planner to, to work with the town attorney to begin legal actions to enforce the IWWA regulations and the cease and desist. Member Galdenze uh, asked if input can be received prior to the next meetings so thought can be given to possible actions that can be considered at the next meeting. And then the town planner, Agresta, agreed to speak with the town attorney to get advice on next, on next legal steps and report back as possible. So that I just added the blue remarks and I, and moved the member Bill's the mention about Bill up from a separate paragraph. That's all I did. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Anytime. Then I guess if if you got anyone wants to make a motion. So I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of March 24th as amended. I'll second that. All right. All in favor. Aye. Okay, and I abstained since I wasn't present. So next uh, next meeting, we have meeting minutes from April 28th, 2021. If anyone has any uh, revisions or uh, comments. Hello? 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 Yeah, Bill, we can hear you. Bill? Yeah. For some reason, I, I wasn't able to uh, join the meeting. It, it simply didn't work. Oh, that's Greg. Okay. Oh, hi, Greg. <laughs> oh, hi, Greg. Hi. Welcome aboard. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Um, yeah, the public hearing with the um, Greg, can you put your phone on mute? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Thanks. I'm not. I'm not sure I know how to do that. <laughs> um. Are you the phone number one two nine two two? There you go. So again, anyone uh, anyone have any comments or revisions or? or no, I think it's Michelle that has the background and noise that's going. Michelle. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I don't. I'm, I'm, I don't have any comments or revisions. Okay. Uh, would anyone like to make yeah. a motion to accept? Hey, one sec. Give me just. Give oh, me sure, one sure. Second. Sorry. No, no problem. I didn't know you were reviewing it. It's okay. Because I, I didn't I didn't highlight it and now I'm trying to find it again. Sorry. Just one second. No problem. Okay, never mind. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. So, if, if, again, if nobody else has any uh, outstanding comments or revisions, um, someone would like to make a motion? I move to approve minutes from April 28th, 2021. Do we have a second? Uh, I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, excuse me one minute, guys. I'm sorry. I was not allowed into the meeting until this point so i don't have any record of the march 24th motion okay. i i i made that uh, we agreed to the i made the motion to approve the minutes as amended this is frank and ashley seconded but jerry seconded, jerry oh, jerry seconded. seconded. and we had a 401 vote with uh, steve epstein Okay, so we'll move on to, again, the last set of minutes, which was the site visit May 1st, 2021. Um, again, any uh, revisions or modifications or comments? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the site visits of, of May 1st. Do we have a second? second? 
Grove. Okay, very good. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, those minutes are approved. Okay, next item would be public hearing. There's none, so we will move on to old item four, old business. Um, Will had mentioned that um, we have uh, Jim Pretty with the engineer for uh, item B on old business, so he said that if it's okay with you, we'll just move item B up now because Jim has to attend a, another public hearing after this, so we were trying to get- Do we have get, to amend the agenda to do this? Come on. <laughs> I was just going to say it real quick. I moved to. I think we'll say that we don't have to do that. We can. We can do. I know it's. We we've done it for years. I think for thirty years I've done it that, but that's okay. We don't have to. So, as long as everyone agrees, we'll uh, we'll, we'll go amended. up. Amended. All right. Consider it amended. So we'll go item B, which is cease and desist at 1565 Middletown Avenue for unpermitted work in the Farm River, resulting in two rock dams, barriers across portions of the river, and removal of vegetation along the stream bank downstream from the vehicle bridge. Owner 16, I'm sorry, owner 1565 Middletown Avenue, LLC, Andy Bazzuto. So um, before we turn over to Jim, do you have anything to add, Will, or should we let just Jim go through it? Yeah, I think Jim can go through it. Um, we only got some materials today, which I did forward to you earlier this afternoon. Yes. I um, really haven't had a chance to look at them. Well, that's okay. Um, at least Jim can, yeah, Jim can talk on them, and it's nothing we have to act on yet anyway. So, sure. um, well, Jim. Can I ask a point of clarification? Sure. Uh, I don't think we can act on anything because the cease and desist requires that we receive uh, stamped engineering drawings well prior to this meeting, and since we haven't received them, I don't think we can take any action tonight, and they can't move forward on anything in the on that property. I, absolutely, Frank. We were just gonna. Jim was just gonna give us an update on what what they're having so far. But yeah, we, we can't right, do anything tonight. Because the note we note I saw there's an anticipation there they're going to start something June first, and I want to make sure that it's understood we're not they're not. Okay. Well, we'll let Jim. Uh, up and you know update us on things and then we'll, we'll take well, it from unless there. DEEP overrules us and says it has to be done during this time because DEEP can't overrule us right. no I don't think they can because we have a cease and desist I'm pretty sure they can I don't think so well we can look into that I'm sure we'll can can check on that but uh, in, in respect to Jim's time um, but we'll let, let's let him speak and give us an overview of the what, what's where we are so far Go ahead, Jim, if you can just okay. identify uh, yourself for the record. Obviously, we know who you are. Good evening, Jim Preddy, Prescolo Engineering, um, representing the applicant, 1565 Middletown Avenue. Um, I, I do apologize about the stamp drawings. We didn't get, uh, couldn't coordinate to meet with uh, multiple um, divisions of DEP until this just this past Monday. Um, uh, we, I was there with uh, Brian Golombuski, Bruce Williams, and Jamie Sidoriak of uh, DEEP. Uh, we uh, walked the length of the Farm River and, and uh, discussed the um, couple of um, outstanding issues there. If I could share the screen, I will kind of quickly go over this. So, why can't I get back to the beginning? second okay too many things open apparently um, so <clears throat> the items uh, if you can see the screen that the items that uh, were referred to in the uh, cease and desist and the NOV by uh, DEP were the rock dam that's in this area here and one that was in this area down here just south of the existing bridge. Um, we uh, discussed the removal of the additional material that was placed there and kind of resetting, um, resetting the uh, boulders that the boulders that were there originally are, are evident uh, there's they're covered in moss and, and spots and, um, and, and um, 
they want those left with the additional material removed. Um, they are going to, both Bruce and Brian, are going to spend the day with the contractor to oversee this operation. Um, uh, according to um, their, their direction, um, that work had to be done between June 1st and June 15th because of uh, something with the fish. Again, I'm not a fish guy, I don't really understand, but this was the direction that they had given us. Um, the other rock dam down here, um, which was more like some shoals, it's not really a dam, but um, uh, one of the uh, outstanding issues on this site that has been an issue for many, many years is that underneath this bridge is a slab that connects the two abutment walls, and there's roughly a, a about a one foot jump on the downstream side. Uh, on Monday when we were there and the water level was obviously low because it's been kind of dry, um, there's only about an inch of water that goes over the slab under that bridge. Um, what they'd like to do is to create these rock weirs, um, basically step pools so that uh, during the low water times, there's about six inches of water over the, um, at least six inches of water over that slab so that the fish can still make their way upstream here. Um, uh, part, of the, part of that is if they uh, were hoping to maybe we could notch the slab and do the weirs and kind of sort of a middle ground. I did ask the structural engineer and the contract involving the bridge and they didn't think that that was possible because of the condition of the bridge and no, nobody really knows what's in that slab uh, as far as reinforcing. So uh, nobody is really comfortable with that. So the other option was to do these step pools. The direction that's on this plan here um, was from directly from them. Uh, the detail that I've included was from uh, Bruce Williams, the DP, and this is kind of their standard uh, rock weir detail. Um, uh, the other item that I was told to be include with this sort of application, it, it was the location of the, the footbridge. Um, uh, the location of the footbridge is over the existing um, remnants of the stone dam there. Uh, uh, no ground disturbance would be, it would be basically sat right into the sto stone that's there. They've already built part of it and they're using it as temporary bridge now. Um, we submitted plans from the architect kind of shows how this thing would be structured with steel underneath and deck and the roof. Um, uh, these are stamped by uh, Ron Zosher, who did the plans for the addition on the building. Um, and then the last thing was uh, the area over here that, that some vegetation had been removed. There is already erosion control blankets there um, that, that have been installed to make sure that uh, nothing, even though the water level is really low right now, that nothing uh, further um, gets, uh, uh, how word I'm looking for, uh, you know, uh, damaged uh, on the bank there. Um, they were, they are supposed to seed that area, but I haven't seen the, uh, the submittal for the seed mix yet there. So, uh, but there are, there are currently blankets here now, uh, like the straw, the matting. Um, so, so uh, the other part of that uh, I forgot to mention is that this work uh, for these rock dams, they want done between July 1st and September 30th, so later in the summer. And, yeah. um, Jim, I'm sorry to yes. interrupt. What, what was the uh, what was the work to be done that they wanted to be done between June 1st and June 15th? That was just just that this right, right here. Okay. Gotcha. Just that, just the removal of the material that was placed behind boulders um, then, to keep the water level in the pond there. Gotcha. Okay. And that's characterized as restoration to pre existing conditions, correct? Jim? That's, that's correct. And that's going to be supervised by DEEP? Yes, actually, both these activities, they, the, both those gentlemen said that they would spend the day. Actually, th this will be probably be multiple days, but uh, this will should be able to get done in one day and they were gonna spend the day there with the contract. Can, right. I, can I ask about the footbridge? Because I, I happened to drive by there the other day and you know, we did a site walk 
late last year. I don't remember exactly when we did it. And, I mean, that footbridge, the, the, first of all, the foundation wasn't there. At least I don't recall the foundation being there um, when we did the site walk. And that looks all brand new to me. And the footbridge, as you described in the drawings, is already in place. Isn't that a little arrogant to put these things in place? knowing you have a cease and desist, knowing we're reviewing this, that you put it in place before even coming to here to get an approval. Right, and knowing it so, was discussed at the last meeting and not approved. Right, so I, I, I mean, I just think that's totally wrong on your part or your whoever's part for doing that. You're just taking us for granted. Why, are we, why do we even have this committee? I mean, we're, we're regulated by the state. This, the state authorizes the CIWWA you should not have put anything up unless it came to us first, especially this was ongoing. And if you needed a special meeting, I could tell you everybody on this committee would have been happy to do it. So the, the stone work that's out there, I mean, those stones were that's always there. They... My question regarding the bridge, the bridge, that stone was not there as it is today. That's all been put in place. Oh, yep. That's, that's correct. It was, place. That's, it was not there when we were standing on that patio with Andy Pizzuto, Ashley and I, and looking down at it. It was not like that. It really wasn't. I think what you're doing is totally wrong. I can't support this. I'm sorry. You should have come to us first. Um, okay. I, 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 wasn't say, I wasn't saying that it was like that. At the time, the stones were the the stones from the dam. They were there. The, the stones have been reset and repointed uh, and grouted back together. Uh, but th that is the material from the dam that had always kind of been there. But more it was of a pile than approval. a little. It was done without approval. I, I'm I'm a little confused. Are we talking about the uh, remnants of the dam underneath the footbridge now? Yeah. Or are we? Correct. Yes. Okay. Correct. Um, and the footprint was put in place. The drawings he just showed us, with, and he pointed out they had stamped engineering drawings, that bridge is already in place. So he's coming to us after the fact. That since I find it very, very insulting, I really do, because he's totally blowing us away. They just assume we're a rubber stamp and we're going to approve it. Personally, I'd like to see you tear it all down. Because you have a the system in place, you shouldn't have done anything. Uh, so you know, I don't think anybody's uh, intentionally. That was. I'm it. sorry. Oh. It was intentional. You don't put a bridge in up there without intent. It was intentional. So, it was a. It's a blatant disregard for this for this commission. Totally blatant disregard. Last year, at some point, they did get. Um, we did get approval for a temporary bridge in this area that was actually going to go on the ground behind the bridge. Um, so uh, for a number of reasons, uh, rather than do that disturbance and create a bridge that uh, I, apparently um, uh, he got warnings from OSHA about that kind of such situation, they decided to go ahead and do part of what he had intended as a permanent bridge to use as a temporary bridge. So right now it's just, it's still a temporary bridge and we're submitting the plans from the architect to make it a permanent bridge. I'm sorry, um, the drawings you showed look exactly like what's been up, put up there. So if that's- And right, and, he, and he's I built like part of it. I would like so to that it's not to do it for I'll tell you what, if that's the case that that's temporary, you know how to reach me. I will be present when you pull that down because I know you're not going to because that's the permanent bridge you put up. That's not a temporary bridge. I'm sorry. I just think it's disrespectful what was done. I'm very, very upset. Unfortunately, the owner is out of town and not here um, to respond to some of this. Some of this happened before I even knew it uh, again. Well, I would like to make uh, a motion that this be uh, adjourned until the next meeting, please. IWWA 20, 20, 
21-5 site plan for, um, I mean, uh, the cease and desist for 1565 Middle Town Ave be tabled to the next meeting with no further discussion tonight and no action taken. Uh, can I can I interject something? Um, being a little bit of a fish guy, uh, I know they want the work that they want to get done uh, in the next couple of weeks before June 15th uh, on that middle dam, let's call it. Um, I think it's because I'm pretty sure it's because the fish are beginning to breed right now and they need to get upstream to lay their eggs. And I think by hindering that action, we're probably causing more harm than good. Um, and I, I, have, I have to say that, but as far as discussing anything about the bridge, I, I, I also don't want to see us uh, cut off our nose, so to speak, uh, to in spite our face, uh, because I think that taking it down and then approving another one is going to cause a much further no i understand you know I but i mean and i fully understand how you feel frank about uh, us being snubbed in this entire process but you know i think we have to we we've unfortunately approved many of things after the fact in the entire history that that i've been on this commission and maybe this is going to be one of these places where I, I fully Jerry, Jerry I fully agree with you and understand that but we did do a site walk with Andy Bazuto we talked about this we took his, what his efforts in good faith and he should have shown good faith to us I agree I don't want it's stupid to take something down and put it back up but it's also disrespectful to this commission to blatantly disregard any of this. We've all been available. There's not one person here that wasn't available that they could have called a special meeting, we could have discussed it. I, I, and, and if we continue to allow everybody to roll over this commission, then we don't, why do we have it? We don't need it because they're gonna do whatever they want anyway. I just I'm think Jim Pretty, and I, I, I will. Think, I think I think the actions of your firm and of Mr. Bazuto is wrong, wrong, wrong. Just wrong. Somebody's got to stick up for the environment, and I'm going to do it because because the, the wetlands are important, the environment's important, and following the rules of the state, which this commission is is regulated by, are important too. It's not just deep; it's us too. I can understand making a motion to prove for the fish because I'm a fish lover too and I'm an environmental lover. But the rest of it, I think the cease and desist needs to remain in place. They shouldn't do one thing. They shouldn't move one stick, one stone until we have a site walk again and we go over everything and then they tell us what they're going to do and they be honest with us. And they have that plans pre-approved rather than coming back with a slap on the wrist. Right, right. They should All pay right fine as far as I'm concerned. Well, keep, keep in mind that at the last meeting where Andy uh, attended, he did say if he has to, he will take it down. Uh -huh. he, he, did, he did say that. Yeah, it was only supposed to be a temporary crossing while the bridge work was being done for the workers to still cross the stream. But then he made it more permanent. Well, he also, he also, not that he followed the right process or anything, but he also said a year ago that he had intended to have a permanent bridge over there for photo ops for weddings right. and but he didn't come through with any plan right i like i said he didn't follow the right process but it was an you know part of his idea i'm not trying to defend him or anything i mean frank is absolutely right that uh the, this process was completely uh ignored but i think we need to find some kind of the answer to this yeah i agree i agree but as tonight i think the only thing we should do is agree on the on like you said the fish piece those stones for june 1st but the rest of it another month and a site walk with mr bazuto there and he can apologize to us all so what is the current motion on the floor well my motion is to 
to uh, act, to adjourn the seek the discussion on cease and desist 1565 Middletown Avenue but uh, with amended and but Jerry would like to at least do a secondary motion to add I think to discuss the piece about the stones for the bridge for the fish yeah there has been no second so you can no. add to the to the motion so to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, adjourn uh, discussion on the cease and desist, aside um, from the, the middle dam to allow fish to go upstream to lay eggs. With DEEP on site. With DEEP on site, thank you. The work, work to occur between June 1st and June 15th. Thank you. Thanks. And that's in response to the cease and desist and restoring something that was part of the cease and desist. So that's well within the, the purview at this time. And the rest would be part of the application that Jim has been putting together. Okay. So just Can a I question on my. Oh, so go ahead, Steve. Yeah, I just wanted to direct to Jim. I everything you 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 know you folks have said, I I totally agree, and I think we should you know need a second for the motion. But I just want to ask Jim. So your your intent is to is to put a full application to cover the other pieces that we were talking about. Is that correct? So that we should have that in time to review for the next meeting. That's correct. Some of this just kind of came together this week. So. Okay. No, I'm just because uh, it'd be nice to at least get all yeah. that in, and then we can address it how you know in a proper manner so can we just clarify time to review means that it's in the committee's hands two weeks before the meeting uh, absolutely no, another question um, as far as the um, the bridge at the upper dam the the one that's temporary right now as far as that bridge is concerned is it a separate uh permit application to build the permanent bridge or is that falling under the general application of the entire project so the activity the way i view it is there is a, a the cease and desist and part of that is can get resolved through the cease and desist process if they're restoring the new stuff or work that wasn't um, that is new or is going to have a different outcome that's part of the application that Jim is putting together so that would be the footbridge and that would be the, uh, the lower pools or, or damming if you will to create the fish ladder um, the, the work on the bank the work at the uh, upper part of the removal of stones hey, those are all restorations so that's restoring back to what it was prior to the season that said Okay. And those will be satisfying the season the season at some point. All right. But the bridge is new. The yeah. bridge is a new is part of the new application, right? Correct. So don't we already have a system in place where if somebody has done something uh, uh, and is looking for an application or an approval after the fact that the um, permit fee is four times normal? Right. Would that satisfy the well, it's not four times as normal, but we haven't adopted the proposals. Well, let's adopt them. Yeah, that, I thought we were going to do that tonight, truthfully. No, that, that, that hearing, is, is, that hearing is, in, is, in, is in the June meeting. Mm -hmm. We had to refer it out to the mm -hmm. COGS and the neighboring towns and everything. Well, it's All still right, what did you say? the application fee. Yeah, it still will be an application. No, but it's still twice because our yeah, old red it's, still twice. Has it's twice double. After the That's when we have already applied that. So that that would apply to this when when we get the application, I I assume. Yeah. That was um, Jim's question today. So we'll, we'll answer that in the following day. And I'm sorry, who did you have to send the document to to review? If you recall, the 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 the, the uh, amendments to the regulation. What we talked about last time or the time before were uh, more substantive than editorial so it's sort of like we're starting over so we had to schedule a new hearing and the hearing requires referral to DEP, and we have a minimum of 35 days we have to give it to us so there was not time between two meetings to get it on this week so that's why it's in the june so the hearing's in june for that. Uh, Mr. Chairman, this is 
uh, Greg Sharp. I'm sorry. I, I don't know why I can't get onto your site, but I can. <laughs> uh, and I just wanted to provide some clarification on the uh, on the cease and desist issue. Uh, number one, the the June one to June 15 is not a drop dead uh, DEP requirement. The Fisheries Division does not want any in water work done before June 1, okay? So the, the soonest anybody could do something was June 1, and in the conversations, I guess, between the applicant and the, the DEP, they, they were talking about that several months ago. Number two, the cease and desist has to be remain in place by the terms of the cease and desist itself until a, a, an engineer stamped uh, plan showing all of the changes that are gonna be made is submitted to the commission. Now, I've, I've talked to the DEP fisheries guy and he's not calling the shot in terms of what the, the Inland Water Resource Division is going to require. I don't know if the Inland Water Resource Division is actually requiring the work to be done between June 1 and June 15, or whether it's between June 1 and, for example, the September dates that they were talking about. So this, this should not be a crisis in terms of your cease and desist. I mean, you have a cease and desist in place that stays in place, and if the applicant, if the respondent does work, he's violating the cease and desist, which puts you in a box. Uh, with respect to you know Jerry's comments, um, not that I'm a fisheries guy exactly, <laughs> but I have spent a fair amount of time talking about these things. And the um, the river, the trout in the river spawn in November, so this is not an issue that is time critical for them. So the bottom line is the requirements of the cease and desist should be complied with with the engineered stamp drawing and in order to speed things along, rather than include that in an application for a permit, if, if the engineering work was done and submitted and the commission had a special meeting and said, we find this satisfactory, bingo. The cease and desist is out of the way and then all the uh, applicant has to do is comply with the DEP requirements because otherwise you have a situation where the applicant is going to be doing work in the river in violation of the cease and desist order and the commission will not have released the cease and desist order based on the terms of the order so it, it's gotten way complicated but it doesn't have to be that complicated I'm, I'm not 100% sure that you need to release the cease and desist order for him to do the restoration. You can keep it in place and be satisfied with the restoration work and then lift it. Well, I, I, I'm just telling you what the cease and desist order actually says. The, 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 on the bottom of page one, it says, you are required to submit an engineer stamp drawing showing the location of the farm river where you are preparing any modifications, including fish passage, water retention, plantings, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, Greg, I, I agree then, with you with that, but that's for the new work and that is subject to a permit. I don't believe that would be for restoration and returning things back to what they were. Well, then how, how do you terminate the cease and desist order? Well, at some point, I mean, you're to see someone when you're satisfied that they either have um, corrected things back to the way they were, right. and or they've gotten a permit to do the modifications or additional modifications as comes through the process, and they have a permit. Okay, that's not what it says, but that's uh, well. All I'm saying is this: this conflict could be resolved very easily uh, outside that window of, I mean, the, the, my point is June 1 to June 15 should not be a driver on this. Right. You should, the commission shouldn't have to do backflips to meet that requirement. I, I would, which is not a, 
not a DEP requirement. Jim, so Greg, that's a great synopsis. I, the only thing I want to mention to that is, so maybe there was a misunderstanding the June 1st to June 15th, but for me, if Jim, if you're saying that the DEEP is prepared to actually oversee this work during that time, it seems like maybe a time to take advantage of that, just so we can get the restoration work done. Uh, they are definitely on board to be there for the day when this work is uh, taken. Will somebody from the town be available present too, Will? When they when we coordinated a date, I will let Will know ahead of time. Because I think it's important somebody from the town be there. Sure. And I was just looking for, I thought that they did mention the 1st through 15th when I was with them on Monday, but I thought it was actually in one of the original letters. Uh, just trying to find. They do have it yeah, in my the only letter, April 7th, 2021. They do say that um, the work will be done during the period. They say that this work will be done during the period between June 2nd and June 15th during low flow conditions. I don't know if that's just a, an, oh, that's you, Jim. That's your letter. Right. Yeah, that's what. But what, what, all I'm saying is that that is not the only time that can be done. It can be done from June 1 until approximately September 10th or 15th. Well, in the, in the, let, in the email that Jim wrote on May 26th, where he references Bruce Williams of the fishery division, he said, yep. he, he mentions there that this work will also be done with deep supervision, but will happen during the window of July 1st through September 30th. So that's, that's, the, that's the downstream section. But the, the point is, it doesn't make it what's the green work. Uh, right. I agree. It's, it's the point. <laughs> I, it's, it, it, they want this being done during the low flow period, and the low flow period begins June 1 and ends in the middle of September. So these discussions with DEP, as I understand it, have gone on for quite a while. And so the June 1 to June 15th date was talked about apparently in some meeting uh, but that was some time ago all i'm saying is it's not a regulatory requirement that be done during those two weeks i see well and as i say from a from a biological perspective the, the fish aren't breeding now anyway no. uh, all right well, I, I didn't really understand, understand. <laughs> uh jim predigan i didn't really understand the need for the timing uh, again, I'm not, a, I'm not a fish guy, but uh, uh, what I can do is I will uh, email Bruce again in the morning and have him uh, say whether it can be put off until the other work. Quite honestly, it's easier for everyone if it's put off until the other work gets done. Um, and if not, um, uh, then we'll schedule a date and whatever the, his response is, I'll forward it to Will as soon as I get it. Um, I, I don't mean to be rude, but I do have to jump off to another well, town meeting. Before you jump um, off, before you jump off, how quickly can you get the drawings to us so we can schedule a special meeting and a site walk so we can get this over with? Um, I can have the stuff that I had submitted to Will preliminarily. I could have together uh, with stamp pretty quickly. I, I couldn't. I didn't have a. The owner is not here this week, so I couldn't have him sign the application to formally submit it anyway. All right. Well, um, when you get, you know, we're, we want to cooperate. When you when you get all that, as soon as you get it in, to, you know, so we have two weeks to look at it and a site walk to review it, then we can have a special meeting if we need to to resolve this. If it doesn't, okay. the way it's going now, though, I think it'll probably still be at the end of June. So my, my question to Jim, good, good point, Frank. Do you think you can, so you can get that all done before? before you know long before 14 days before the next meeting jim I'm, that's i guess that's what we're asking we want at least 14 days to yeah, be able to review we, it we're, and we're, properly uh, over you know we're almost there now okay 
So that that would be yes. It sounds like you can do that, and then we can that'll get that process uh, going. Yeah, and, and and please don't get me wrong. I'm I'm happy to see that you know the plans are moving along and that this restoration is going to happen. It's been quite a while, and uh, you know I'm not trying to stick a, a stick in the spokes, but um, <laughs> if if the stamp drawing is submitted, it seems to me the commission looks at it and says, okay, this is fine. Um, and you know, whenever whenever it can be done, it can be it can be done. So, Jim, in respect for your time, we, we appreciate you being here. If you have to leave, we understand. At least we know now what thank you know you. What to expect. So, um, thank you again. I, just try to get that in well, as soon as you can. Well, I will talk to you tomorrow about what fee we think is necessary for this. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Jim. Okay. okay. Thanks for your patience. So, Thanks, Jim. Thanks. And I like to stay with my original motion that that we adjourn. Uh, this cease and desist at 1565 Middletown Avenue until our next meeting. Okay, do we Thank have you. a second? Second by Ashley. All in favor? Okay. Okay, yeah. that'll be good. Hopefully we'll get everything, Jim will get everything submitted. We can review it and then move on from there. Just for clarification, Chairman, um, is this with or without that stipulation? Without. without. Yep, it's just so a- So just table it, adjourn just, it. Yep, we're right okay. in lieu of getting additional documentation from Mr. Preddy. Okay. Yes. So Thank we're you. keeping the cease and desist in place. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's so correct. I need to I need some clarification on this then. With the cease and desist, for instance, with uh, 1071 Middletown Avenue, we have a cease and desist there and yet we're having them do in essence restoration work, cleaning up the site while the cease and desist is in place how I'm just not sure how this all does. Well, I, I, I'm sure Will can answer that, but I know we have done that when we've asked an applicant to rectify things so we can remove the cease and desist. It sounds like a catch-22, but sometimes I think we've okayed. But, but again, that was when an, it was an application. You know, we talked to either like an engineer. We knew exactly what they were going to do. And usually, hopefully, it was to meet what we'd asked them to do, you know. I, and, think, the di I, I think the difference... I'll give you my opinion. The difference is at uh, Middletown Avenue, he's building new structures. Right. He's building new that wasn't approved. Well, and if you remember, there was an, there was an application for 1071 as well for new stuff, which he withdrew and just pulled back to restore it. Right. He right. right. He withdrew it because he knew we would deny it. Right. Well, yes, but the point is they were both those things happening. Um, for the one was for the new, the other was for the restoration. So if you're just restoring stuff, he, he you can do that in the season of two. But he didn't physically build anything at ten. Right. So. No, no. But and, right, and, and, but but I, I I was talking more about the restoration work, uh, bringing certain parts of the river back to the way it was, and I just didn't want to stand in the way of that work, but uh, the rest of it, uh, definitely. Oh, absolutely, I'm with you. I wanted to get it, I would have, would agree to get that done, but it makes more sense to get, you know, since we, we do have some time to get a complete application, so then we can go and address everything at once, including the, the bridge that was put there, you know, permanent bridge when we really didn't have a, sure. yeah, it wasn't specified in application. So I think we're doing the right thing, as long as, yeah, as long as Will agrees and we'll just address it, at the, you know, before the next meeting. Okay. Probably the special meeting, but. Did you all vote on that motion? I didn't catch that. No, we didn't. We didn't. You had a, you had a, a, a motion and a second. Right. Yeah, no, I'm afraid. I think we, some, we, someone was bringing some comments. So then really it's all, all in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Okay, it passes. Okay, so we're going to move back in old business up back up to item A, uh, which is IWWA 2021-5, site plan for proposed attached garage 24 by 24 feet, addition to existing house over existing paved driveway within the 100 foot upland review area at 52 Twin Lakes Road, map 17, lot 25-1, owner applicant John A. and Tracy McAlitis. And if I remember, I believe we basically in principle proved that we had to wait 14 days, uh, you know, to pass before we could officially address it. So um, is that correct, Will? We can, 
Yeah, as you recall, the last time we reviewed the application, the direction was to draft an approval. We had to wait the 14 days. You have a draft in front of you for your consideration and action, if so too. Okay, so if, unless anyone has any other concerns, I think we all were okay with it. Someone would like to make a motion? Read the motion, I guess. Okay, I guess I'll, I'll do it. I'll, um, I can do it if you want. You're going to do it, Sorry, Bill? I was just yeah. grabbing the old application just to peruse it again. I was, I was turning a light on because I couldn't see. <laughs> I hope it gets approved because I already built it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm kidding. Kidding, kidding. I was like, a really bad joke. I would like to. Yeah, that's okay. Be appointed we, to this you know, yeah. It was good. We, we know you're kidding. Very appropriate for this night scene, but we're glad you I did. I just couldn't <laughs> help it. Tear it down. <laughs> you can see that's a little I, sensitive issue I with moved, us. So I we'll just leave temporary. it at that. It's just temporary. It's just temporary. Deny IWW. All right, back at you. All, All right. Ready? Start reading, Bill. I <laughs> I move to approve IWWA application 2021-5 pertaining to the property at 52 Flint Lakes Road for a proposed residential attached garage addition measuring 24 feet by 24 feet, 576 square feet, substantially over the existing pavement driveway. I do have one quick question, just an afterthought. If I were to extend it six more feet, would I have to come back and get it approved again? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Mind. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that you can't do it, but yes, you would have to. You couldn't, uh, yeah. You couldn't okay. do it after so the I, fact, I think, Te technically. I, this is only a temporary permit. You have to have it done in 10 days. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Probably get it pre-built, but <laughs> otherwise I'm out of luck. Um, Bill? Would you consider changing your motion to add in the words um, as drafted in the uh, draft approval dated May 26, 2021? Yeah, as, could I just say as stated? Yeah, as drafted for the draft approval May 26, 2000. That's all you need to add. Okay, I, I've got it. Thank you. Okay, do we have a second then? I did oh, already. You did, sorry. Okay, then all in favor? Aye. Aye, Aye. okay. Uh, application passes. Okay, Good thank luck. you. You're welcome. Okay, now have we're going to move. Good night. Good night. Now we're going to move to item C, which is cease and desist at 1071 Middletown Avenue for unpermitted filling and dumping of material within wetland and Hardfoot Upland Review Area, owner LJC Realty, LLC. Okay, I don't see anybody from them here tonight. Is that correct? I don't see anybody. I don't see either. anyone, now. Okay, so um, you all had your site visit. You approved the minutes of the site visit tonight. Um, last week, I went out there with Tom Hogarty. Um, we didn't see anything new other than maybe some more of the mulch pile had gotten reduced. Um, other than that, it was the same last week as it was prior to that. Do you know, did he make any attempt to get rid of the oil? No, that was exactly the same. Um, and there's also some other container at the very, on the other side of the building at the front um, that also seemed to be leaking. And, We've been looking into uh, the spill, making a, a notification to the spill unit at Heath. Well, I, I personally think myself, I think we need to take, like we talked about a couple meetings ago, and we, we do have town council approval for an outside attorney, because I did verify that with a council member. So I, I think we should take proceed with taking legal action against him. What about the trailer? Still in the same place? As far as I could tell, everything was the same except for some small introduction in the mulch. Right. He's been removing some of the mulch. And, you know, getting back to the oil, too, I mean, that, that, that I, I can't remember exactly how much was there, but it seemed like a significant amount. And that, you know, that's a DEP, could be a DEP reportable 
you know, being so close to the wetlands and everything. I mean, that's another issue. That's something that I can't believe you didn't address that right away. But yeah, that's more. That's most concerning for me, actually, out of all of things. If if that's reported, I'm sorry to interrupt, Bill. No, that's okay. I was done. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, no. If if, the, if that's reported to DEP, they'll come flying down there with lights of flashing, and it will turn into a big deal. I, and I mean, I'm not trying to do that to him, but I mean, you know, it, that should have been the first thing cleaned up. I, I, you know, I'm not, I'm, that's, I think I'm agonized over that over, you know, more than anything there after seeing that, you know, at the site walk. But um, anyway, I, at, at this point, Will, what, what really other, other can we do, like, other than contacting the town attorney? There's really not much we can do. We can't, we're not going to rescind it. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, obviously we're not getting a response. Um, so I did talk to Vin Marino, the town attorney today, and I'd asked him a few, a few days ago to get me that contact information. He said he was going to send that to me. Well, he said he was going to send it to me today, but I'll follow up again with him tomorrow. So we have someone. We did find someone that would uh, work under the terms of the town's uh, process. And I'll get that name, and I'll give her a call, and we'll uh, see what we can do. Perfect. And maybe she'll come to the next meeting if need be. Okay. So do we have to do we have to make a motion on that or just adjourn? No. Uh, oh, you, yeah. You should just adjourn to keep this on the agenda and keep the cease and desist and, and you know. Active. And that's really all we can do tonight, Will. Then, right? Just making a motion to adjourn to you know yeah. to, to, until the next regular okay. scheduled meeting. Okay. So I make a motion to adjourn cease and desist at ten seventy one Middletown Avenue until the next meeting. A second Seconded. okay all in favor aye. okay aye okay so we're, we've adjourned item c to the next meeting next is five new business we have none next would be item <laughs> <laughs> for change <laughs> next item six which would be the wetland enforcement officers report so take it away will okay um one just a reminder that again the next meeting we will have the public hearing for the amendments to the code. Um, it was referred to DEEP. I have not heard back from them yet, um, but I expect to before the hearing. Um, second, last meeting you would ask me to look into, um, I think it's 213 or 215 Forest Road. Um, I reached out to the property owner, um, explaining to him that you, know, that you guys were inquiring about it. Um, and that I wanted the status of where he was with the work. Um, I did not hear back from him, so I have to reach out to him again. Um, it's been a few weeks. Uh, I did look up the file. He did get an approval from you in 2016, I believe, which is still valid until like September or something of this year. Um, and it included um, work around the pond, some filling of topsoil, some uh, work related to pipes and the existing pipes um, and, and also the area. So from what I can see, he's, he's doing what the permit allows him to do. Hmm. But it, when I drove by and looked at it, it looks like uh, my question is, I was trying to do everything that there were those, the items you mentioned were conditions as I recall all it. Not saying I'm right, but that's what I recall. So I would assume he has to do everything. When I drive by that site, it looks like the only thing he was put in a, um, an aeration system, a sprinkler in the pond, and that was the extent of it. Um, and he cut down bushes around the pond. It, yeah. it, and, and it was my recollection that the purpose of uh, his application back then was uh, to cut down trees that he felt were a danger to the family and um, they turned out to be on water company's property yeah some of them but i i at that time I, again it's my recollection he didn't want to do anything to the pond as much as we had encouraged him that an improvement should be made and I we told him he had to clean up all the trash and the junk at the outlet and he hasn't done so right but the the <laughs> Just for the record, the main, the main problem with that pond is that the water from that natural spring runs in at the 
south side of the pond and six, eight feet away from it is where it runs out. So yeah. the, the, on the south side, so the rest of the pond is just stagnant. And I had suggested to the guy, uh, you know, a few lengths of pipe attached to what's existing there, uh, laying underwater, bringing the water down to the other side of the pond, then you have complete circulation. But he didn't want to do anything. He didn't want to spend anything on that project. So I'm not sure what there was in the application at that time that allowed him to do anything in the pond other than cut some trees around it. Well, this is what the approval says. It, it says he has a site plan app. He was approved the site plan application for the spreading of topsoil over an exposed pipe, the planting of shrubs, and the removal of debris located within 100 feet of a wetland, and pond improvement, including installation of a fountain, extension of existing pipe, and removal of material within a water course. Wow. Okay. And yeah, the other problem is there's no plan. He was supposed to replace the shrubs that he took away from the edge of the pond. Well, I, I can appreciate that, but there is no plan showing any of it. Wow. Shame on us. Okay. So speaking of the public hearing next month, is that on the 23rd or the 30th? The June is the 23rd. Thank you. So, Will, do you have anything um, this else? Is, this is, uh, yeah, I just had a question for Will. Um, is there anybody in town hall that could help me with this Zoom thing? <laughs> I checked my Wi-Fi connection and I'm fine. And this is the first time I've ever had this problem where when I go to click on the, the Zoom meeting, it, nothing happens. Um, I wish I could help you. I'm not that great at Zoom. It's, okay. You're doing the one in the agenda, Greg, I assume? In the, yes, yeah. I, in other words, I pulled up the agenda from the town's website. And it says click to join Zoom meeting, which I've always done. And I've gotten okay. right in. And well, so, sometimes my experience is you might have to type them in and not paste it on those links. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure I follow. I'm sorry. Well, if you click on the you agenda, it has a link. I would not do that. Just go to Zoom and try to join the meeting and type in the meeting ID. Meeting ID and the password. Yeah, that should let you oh, in. So I, so I, so I go to the the first highlighted thing that says uh, join Zoom or something, and then it tells you how to join, yeah. sign up with Zoom. Well, yeah, go to Zoom. Right. Hold on one second. Well, the, well, I, the, Greg, hey, Greg, instead of taking up time here, I can give you a call tomorrow. Yeah. So you tell you how. Okay, to that'd be great. Yeah, time. I don't want to be somebody's phone. I'll just. Uh, can, can I I'm ask? Not, not, I'll, I'll be happy to help you with that. Okay. That's not a problem. Thank you. Uh, could, could we go back to 213 Forest Road one quick second? Doesn't he? Does he have to complete all the items that we agreed, or he can cherry pick what he does? Um, well, it's, to the extent that they were for um, remediation, which it's not spelled out in the approval or the application that I can tell, that he would have to do. Anything that was um, not deemed that, and, I, and maybe all of it was, um, he could choose not to do something uh, if it was not remediation to okay. the treatment system. All right. And then our next meeting, are we going to meet in person, I hope? Um, I'm running out of masks. We don't need masks now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's up to you all. Um, but we do have to still have to do masks and separation in the meeting. Yeah, inside the town hall, we do. Oh, really? Because I was in yeah. a, there, no one wore masks. Well, they were supposed to. They're supposed to, Frank. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Well, I'd rather be without a mask, so I'd rather stay home then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, I guess then, uh, Will, anything else for, for, for I have nothing to report? Or? I move to adjourn. Oh.
So hold on one second. So <laughs> so basically, we can't do anything with this uh, forest road uh, pond. Well, no, I'll try to catch up and reconnect with him and find out his, again where his status is with us, his activity. But from what I understand from others in the office, he was not the most uh, cooperative. Yeah, no, well. that's an that, understatement. That, that, yes, yeah. that, that's being yeah. pleasant about yeah. it. But on the other hand, anything that gets done to that pond is probably an improvement. Yeah. No, except for taking down all the vegetation, which he was supposed to replace. Well, well would you be able to send me the link to these um, minutes from the Zoom meeting that you reported so that I can make sure that I have especially the beginning piece? Yeah, well, I'll probably get that tomorrow. Or so. I appreciate I'll it. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Second Ashley's motion. <laughs> all right. We, that was a second. All right. Then all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Meeting adjourned. All right. Everyone, everyone so, have a good... Will, cut the feed. Cut the feed. Right. Good night, everybody. I'm cutting good my night, feed. Good, good night, Michelle. <laughs> I have lesson so, planning. I just wanted to let everybody know, but I'm waiting for- The recording to... has stopped. Oh, good, thank you. Um, so Peyton graduated with honors from the on college. Oh, good for her. Congratulations. That's good. Right. Yeah. What, what college? Duquesne. She went oh, to- Oh yeah, no, I, I knew that.